All right, home kids. So one of the most unique things about this online biology course is that it does have a laboratory component. And it's super important to all of us here at College of the Redwoods to make sure that the laboratory component of this class is as close to equivalent to what you would do in a face-to-face -face class as possible. So we have a couple of tools that are coming into play here. First of all, y'all are going to be buying a lab kit. The lab kit, it's described on your syllabus. And let me just show that to you really fast. Um, somewhere in here, oh, you know, somewhere. Dude, required materials. The lab is facilitated by a kit from Carolina Bi Biologicals. The kit is about 150 bucks. Um, that is not a small chunk of change. And I, um, I don't require that of you lightly. In the past, students have had to go grocery shopping for their lab requirements. And they've had to buy things like test tubes or beakers or gelatin and dye and pH strips, like these sort of random things that not very many people have on hand, but you kind of have to hunt them down. And people ended up spending some cash and some time trying to get all these materials. So I, <clears throat> over the summer, dude, we're having two labs a week most weeks. And so I figured it's worth the 150 bucks to um, make sure that you have what you need on hand. There's one lab where you are going to go get supplies, um, grocery supplies, and I will post that list as soon as possible. Um, and it really, the supplies were super chill. So um, $150 bucks for, the, for the lab kit. I sort of justify that because the textbook for the course in all our courses, face-to-face -face and online, is free and open, which means you do not have to pay anything for the textbook. If you want a hard copy of the textbook, lots of us, myself included, like a hard copy of a text. Um, and the hard copy is like, I don't know, 25 bucks or something like that. It's, it is not expensive if you want to go that route for the textbook. But it's all free and open online. So I feel a little bit better about requiring this $150 kit um, you can't do the labs without it. So you aren't going to be able to make up the stuff or, like, hustle the, the lab. Like, it's just not going to work. So buckle down, kick down the 150 bucks, get it as soon as possible. We do have a lab the first week, so you want to have your materials as soon as possible. Um, the other thing, and this is what I want to walk you through right now, is that um, you have to spend 15 bucks on a online lab notebook. And this thing <coughs> is really awesome. So as soon as Canvas is published, there is a module zero where you have to go through and, like, basically learn how the course is going to be set up. The um, seventh assignment in this module or the seventh page in this module walks you through setting up your online lab notebook. They actually give you three weeks before you have to pay the 15 bucks. So if you're like, I don't know if I'm up for this, um, you won't be out the 15 bucks. I'm pretty sure that once you buy the lab kit, you're out the 150 bucks. So, you know, it doesn't really save you that much to do the labs. You got to get that kit. So <clears throat> make good choices, right? If you take the face-to-face -face class, all the supplies are um, given to you. So um, that's done go to this assignment. Click on the online lab notebook. <clears throat> That's a really specific link that will take you to a sign up for my specific class. You'll see that it's all um, set up here for our class. You're going to have to sign up for this. Follow the instructions. It has to be your CR email address, account, whatever. Put your CR email in here. You can't put in just any random email and be added to my class. Um, follow the instructions, do whatever you have to do, get into the lab notebook, and then let me show you how this thing works. Um, it's set up, okay, so the way that it works is that you'll have folders. I will push out to you 
a notebook. <clears throat> this notebook will be updated as we go. I don't know if you can see that very well. Um, your notebook is going to say online, Bio 1, Summer 18, <clears throat> with your name on it. I play with it in here. You'll see that I've started um, two labs, two of 15. <laughs> so you can see that there is a significant amount of work left for me to do here. I'm going to be working on these before you need them. And if you see that the lab has um, a, what's it called, title, then uh, you can get in there and mess with it. If the title is not on the lab folder, please don't mess with it. You can, but um, the stuff in here, this, this shouldn't have a title on it because it's actually completely not ready to go. The first bit, this one, getting to know your notebook, this will be ready for you to, to make it happen. Well, it's almost ready. I'm deleting that thing. If you click on a page, open the folder, click on a page, there will be content in here that walks you through how the notebook works. Um, especially in this first one, we're just getting to know the system. I have icons that tell you when you need to upload a selfie. So you don't be shy. Like, dude, I'm recording videos that get posted on YouTube, so I ain't shy. And if I can do it, you can do it. Uh, you're going to have, and these aren't going on to YouTube. Trust me, I won't put your selfies on YouTube unless you want me to. Um, but the whole purpose of a selfie is to show me that you actually are doing the lab work. So you'll take a picture of yourself, your kids, your dog, your lab supplies, like the experiment that you're working on, whatever. When you see this little smiley, that you'll know you need to put a selfie in. Um, the green check mark box indicates that there's a task to complete. Sometimes the task is to draw a picture. Sometimes it's to upload evidence. Sometimes it is to complete a graph, whatever. It means you need to do something. And then the question mark um, icon is going to tell you that you have some questions to answer. I have a request when you answer questions um, that you format your answers in a way that makes um, them distinguished from the question itself. So highlight them, um, bold them, do something to make it so that I can just zoom, like zip in and see the question and the, your answer. Like your answer is, looks different than um, the rest of the questions. This notebook is totally yours. Anything you do with this, like you can actually go in and edit all parts. Like I can go in and edit this little section working with the notebook just by clicking on this pencil. As soon as you start editing, it sticks in your notebook, which is super crazy cool. So I can push out a master notebook, and then every single one of you guys gets to modify it to demonstrate your work. Um, in this first getting to know our lab notebook, you're going to mess around and do some stuff. You get to sketch some stuff. Like you get to answer questions, like whatever. You get to mess with it. And then every single time, I'm going to delete this one, but every single time when you're finished, you, you're going to have to somehow communicate to me that you're done. So you have to submit your notebook for grading. The notebook needs to be submitted by the due date. So whatever the due date is on our um, dude, there's like 50 windows open on my computer right now. If you look at a lab, the lab discussion is due on this day, whatever, 6, 7, by 11.59 p.m., and the lab notebook is due on that day by 11.59 p.m. That means by, before midnight, you need to go in and you need to submit your notebook for grading. You're not done when you do that. You also need to go back into Canvas and send me a message that says, dude, I'm done. And in that zone, you can say either just I'm done or you can say, whoa, Riggs, this one was super cool. It was crazy lame. You should tell future students this, whatever. Once you've submitted your notebook, you're golden. You don't have to worry about that lab anymore. Labs have the notebook component. They also have a discussion component. 
and the discussion piece is 100% um, about meaningfully helping each other out. You have to say something. And I guarantee that if you're doing the lab activity, you have something to add to the conversation. If you're someone who's doing the lab early, you might post um, fast facts or tips that are helpful. Feel free to post a funny story. Um, feel free to post advice like, dude, I thought this, but it was that, and don't make the same mistake I did. Um, you can ask questions like, I don't understand what this one is, and what was that question asking for? And you can post, um, um, yeah, that's it. I think that there's nothing else. I mean, you can post whatever you want, but it needs to be some sort of meaningful contribution to your classmates' um, lab experience. How are you? <laughs> All right, I think that's cool. I think that's enough for now. We'll call it. We're going to call this one right here. Done. <laughs>